so speak ye and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. Verse 22, the words of a talebearer are as wounds. They go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Verse 26, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Now that I love because that, again, goes back to God will judge. God will reward the fool and the transgressor one day. One day it will be exposed before the whole congregation. We'll all know the truth. Verse 27, Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. Here's the lesson for the Christian. Don't connive against somebody. It will backfire. Right? Don't lie against somebody. It will backfire on you. God will judge you with it. And when somebody does it to you, God will judge. God will reward them. Don't forget that. Don't get discouraged because we don't see judgment immediately. Well, surely somebody should have done something. Well, who are you talking to? Because he's the one that's going to take care of business. Do you trust that? Do you believe that he will avenge? I want you to go to Deuteronomy 19. I think it's prudent to go through this passage real quick. And then we'll come right back. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin. If any sin that he sinneth at the mouth of two or three witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. Well, oh, so-and-so said so, so it must be true. Where's the facts? Where's the evidence? Well, there is none. But he's reputable. Is he? He's not a man. He's not fallible. Look, and we as Christians need to be careful ourselves. Well, I heard such and such. Watch it now. Watch it. Don't be a tale-bearer. Don't say something that might not be true. It really is a sad day when you find out you have been repeating a lie. Because your intention may not have been to lie, but you have become a liar. You have spread the tale, and it was a lie. And you've, oh man, don't you hate that when you find out you said something that wasn't true? Here especially, especially when it's dealing with messing with people's lives, their families, if a false witness rise up against any man to testify against him that which is wrong, then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and the judges, which shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition. And behold, if the witness be a false witness and hath testified falsely against his brother, then shalt thou do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother, so shalt thou put the evil away from among you. You accuse somebody of being a murderer and they deserve to die for that and you, it turns out you're a liar, put them to death. You accuse somebody of being a thief and you ruin their reputation and they should have to pay something back but it turns out they were lying, they should have to pay it back. They themselves become guilty. They get the punishment they tried to inflict. Verse 20. And those which remain shall hear and fear. Why is there no fear in the land of America today? Because there's no judgment. If the judges would actually do this, there would be judgment. If they kept God's word, they would hear and fear and obey God. And we would live in a much better society. He said, And those which remain shall hear and fear, and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. And thine eye shall not pity, but life shall go for life. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. That in itself is a strong statement. Well, you, you stole. You deserve to have your life taken. You, you murdered. Oh, you're a reprobate. You deserve to be put to death according to God's law. Wait, you're lying? What would God's judgment be on that person? This is a scary thought. Go back to Proverbs 26. Words can kill. Tail-bearing can destroy. It causes wounds. It goes down in the heart. It can destroy lives. It can destroy people's mentality and tear them apart. We as Christians should not be in such reputation. We don't want a little folly on our reputation. It ought to just be wisdom. Eye for eye. Life for life. Tooth for tooth. That's a serious judgment. If that were to take place, what do you say? Spare not. No, not that guy. He's famous. Well, no, God said so. Executed. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it. And a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Why are they lying? Why are they flattering? 
because they, they just want to destroy. They're of the devil. They're of an evil spirit, maybe like a King Saul where he's saved, but he's working of an evil spirit, prophesying in his house, trying to kill people unrighteously. What did God do to him? He took him out. He let Doeg, the Edomite, kill the priest of the Lord. Oh, God judged him. He killed all of his sons. Life for life. Tooth for tooth. Eye for eye. What are we supposed to do as Christians? But speaking the truth in love may grow up into all things, which is the head, even Christ. Instead of being a lying tongue that hate those, we should be speaking the truth in love, honoring God. Hey, honor the name Christian. If you're a Christian, then act like a Christian. When the world knows you're not being very Christ-like, and you try to justify it with Scripture, and you're lying against the Bible. When the world knows you're not acting like a Christian, there's usually a problem. What are we supposed to do? Speak the truth in love. You know, we should not be known for hate, even if it's righteous indignation. There are things we should hate according to the Bible. But our reputation in this world should not just be for the hatred. It ought to be for love. Let's be known for only answering the fool when we have the power of the Holy Spirit to demonstrate their folly against the Word of God. Let's make sure we're full of the Holy Spirit before we answer a matter of such weight. Especially if your life would be on the line. Could you, would you imagine if before somebody got on Facebook and just fired away, they stopped and said, Wait, do I know this 100% factually to be true? Because if not, I'm bearing false witness and life for life. I, I'll just hold my peace. Pray before you speak.